Making your stream look good and stand out to others is not really that hard. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step exactly how to do that from where to actually get these overlay packages and how to actually install them in OBS. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now, there are a ton of different places to get these overlays from, whether they be free or custom made or even just a couple of bucks, like 40 or $50. But personally, I recommend you starting out with one of these three places I mentioned or another place that might just have pre-made assets. Reason why you wanna use pre-made stuff when you first start out is because if you start using this and you decide this really isn't the look you're going for a few months down the road it would be really upsetting if you spent a few hundred dollars and then you wasted that versus if you only spent like 20 or 40 bucks on a package and then stopped using it after a couple of months all right so the three places i recommend are either going to be visuals by impulse nerd or die or owned or own 3d i don't I don't know which one it really is, but either way, they'll be down in the description below. These are gonna be three places that I've used before personally myself, and I've also seen them in the industry for a very long time. So I highly, highly recommend checking these places out as they have reasonable prices and some pretty good overlays to start out with, especially when you're new to streaming. Now, personally, in this video, I'm gonna be using visuals by Impulse. I'm actually gonna show you a free package I found, and if you guys wanna download it as well, link in the description. That way you guys can follow along and you can see how installing it actually works. All right, so first things first, let's go to visuals by impulse gonna head over their website then we're going to want to go over to the store and once we go to the store we we'll want to scroll down so here you can drill down into the different categories they have whether it's animated stream packages stream deck icons that kind of stuff we're just going to hit free and yep so you can see all these free icons here for your stream deck there's a pizza party bundle but the one i'm going to be showing you guys how to install and how to use today is going to be luxury right here this one so this is a free package that comes with everything that you pretty much need whether it's you know overlays different scenes they're also animated too or not animated depending on if your computer can handle animation or not so you get both of them which is going to be pretty awesome so if you guys want go ahead and download this right now all you have to do is hit add to cart you check out it's name your price you don't have to name any price you can just download it for absolutely free now that we got our overlay let's go ahead and over to obs and start installing it all right so this is what the bare naked obs looks like by the way before we go any further if you guys don't have this downloaded make sure you guys go download obs also we have a full tutorial on the best settings for obs so in case you haven't followed that guide please make sure you guys go check it out it should be right up above me and then once you guys complete that, come back here and we'll continue the how-to video on how to add your overlays. Now, if you've already done that, kudos. And if you actually watch our video, double kudos to you for doing that. We appreciate it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create all the scenes that we need. So we're going to go over to our scenes right here and we're going to click on just chatting. We want a starting soon screen, gameplay scene, and then maybe intermission and ending soon. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our gameplay scene and we're gonna start setting this one up first. You'll see why afterwards. So what we wanna do is we wanna add a webcam. So let's go ahead down to video capture device. We'll hit Elgato face cam. And perfect, there we go. We have our Elgato face cam added. I'm actually still really surprised by how good this actually looks. So now we have the Elgato face cam. So let's go ahead and add our border to this. So go down to where it says sources, hit the plus button again. Now this is where it gets tricky. If you found a static overlay, which by the way, a static overlay does use less resources. So if you're doing a single PC stream or if your computer is a bit older, I recommend doing static as it's not gonna take up as much resources as an animated package would. If you're doing a static overlay, you're gonna wanna go ahead and add image. And that's gonna be what it is, is that they're all just basically images because they're not moving and they're not movies or anything like that. Now, if you have an animated overlay, like the one we just downloaded, the luxury one, you wanna go ahead and do a media source as that's exactly what that is so we're going to add media source and do webcam overlay and then we're going to click okay browse now one thing i didn't actually mention to you guys make sure you know where this is actually at so personally as a recommendation i have a whole folder that says assets so usually I have like a stream folder in here that has all the stream assets. I have transitions in here, text, music, clients that I'm working with, all the assets that they use. It's really, really helpful to have this organized. That way you can go ahead and know exactly where it's at in case there's any issues with it. You need to re-add it or anything of that nature. Or if you remove OBS and reinstall OBS, it's very, very helpful knowing exactly where it's at. So let's go ahead and drill down into where we put it. I just put this one in the actual project folder since this is what I'm working on. Overlay bundles, luxury, perfect. So now we're gonna go to overlays, animated, and there we are. So now we have our webcam overlay right here. We'll click okay. Now, if you guys are doing an animated overlay, you wanna make sure that you do a loop. And I'm gonna show you guys why. Because technically this is a video file that plays for so many seconds. 
If you don't choose it to loop, it will basically just play for the first time and then it will disappear. So make sure you guys hit loop if you're doing an animated package, if you're doing a regular package or a static looking image, you won't have to worry about this. I'll go back through and I'll show you how to do the static one as well. But just in case you wanna add animated since they're so cheap nowadays and very easily accessible, we're doing it this way and click okay. And there we are. And now we have the two things. Now we just gotta basically line it up and make sure everything looks good on our webcam. So we'll go ahead and do that. We can just use our arrow keys to make sure it's lined up perfectly. And there we go. Now we have our animated webcam overlay already. And then also what's really cool from here is if you guys want, you can actually select this, hit shift and select this other one. When you right click it, you can then also group these together. We can just call this webcam. So now what's really cool is we can lock. So we can now move this as a group. So that way, if we resize it, it's going to resize the whole thing. And it's not going to change the size of the webcam or the overlay. So we can go ahead and move this wherever we want to. So in case you want it over here or you want it over here, it makes it super easy so that you can just move them together without worrying about, you know, moving one versus the other and then messing up how they're actually overlaid. And there we go. That is how to add the animated webcam to your webcam overlay. Now, as I said before, I do want to show you guys how to add the static one as well. So what we're going to do is we're literally just going to go down here to this plus symbol again. We're going to go to add image this time and we're going to do webcam overlay static. Now we're going to go to browse overlay static, click webcam. So now, because if you notice, when we're looking for the animated, it didn't show it because that's not an image. Now we go to static and there we go. That is it, which is perfect. Click OK and that's it. And then all you'd have to do is just line this up the same way we did before. All right, let's just say that's good. Technically, you can just take this and drag that down and boom, there you go. Now you have one that's static, that's not moving, so less resources being used, or you have one that is animated. That's gonna be the only difference while we're going through this is that if it's not animated, it's just an image. If it's animated, add it as a media source. All right, let's move on to the next. All right, so let's go to our starting soon. So we're gonna again, just click on the starting soon scene. And then we're gonna go down here to the plus button underneath sources. And then we're gonna add media source. We're gonna do starting soon screen. All right, now we're gonna go to browse. All right, so from here, you wanna go to screens, animated, and then you're gonna wanna do the starting soon screen. And again, you wanna make sure you loop this, click okay, and there we go. Luckily, this package also comes with text that are already pre-made for us. So we can just go ahead and hit this plus button. We're gonna add images. Then we're gonna do starting soon text, browse, and we'll do starting soon, or stream starting. And there we go. So we can literally just leave it like this and we'll just let this play until we actually want to start our stream. And then once we do, we can just hit our gameplay or we can do our just chatting. All right, so for the next scene, let's go ahead and set up our intermission. So once we go to intermission, now we can hit this plus button right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a media source and we'll hit intermission screen, browse, screens, animated. And we'll do intermission and then boom, there we go. Now, the cool thing is, is once you're trying to add an asset that you've already added in as a source, you can just hit this plus button. So for instance, our webcam, which should be right in the middle there. Go ahead and we'll hit, oh, wait, you see that? I made a mistake. I didn't press loop. And that's what happens when you don't loop it, it turns off. So if you notice now, it's gonna continue playing once this timer actually hits seven. And there it restarts. Now, if I took loop off of this, and it gets to the end, turns off. Don't be like me and don't forget to turn on the looping effect. Okay, so now we need to add our webcam since we have a big blank space right in the middle. So go ahead and hit add source, go to video capture device. Now, if you notice, there's an existing, right? So this already exists, we've already made this source. So click okay, and there we are. Now, one thing that's weird about this is that our webcam is actually laying on top of this. So in case you didn't know this, the order in which you have things down here does make a difference. So what you want to do is you want to take this and drag this down. So that way we have our webcam underneath our actual overlay. Now it looks kind of weird because it's just my face and it's got some weird moving screen, right? So we want to go ahead and add the words intermission to this, which luckily this package has that. So go ahead and hit the plus button and then we're going to add an actual image and we're going to say intermission text. All right, we'll hit browse and we'll go to, oh, no. Screens, text, 
intermission. There we go. Now we know it's an intermission screen. So in case you wanted to sit there, you want to chat with people, this is a great way to do it. Intermission, hey, we're just taking a break or whatever, you know, get up, pee, move around, you know, get some water, drink some more coffee. And now we have an intermission screen. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and do the BR. We'll do a BRB actually. I totally forgot about that. Let's do BRB. Be right back. So we just created the new scene. So again, come to this plus button underneath sources. Go ahead and add media source. We'll do B BRB screen. Click OK. Browse screens animated. Be right back. Loop. We go. And now we want to make sure that we add the text to it as well. So it's an image because it's a PNG. BRB text browse. Sorry, I know I'm going a little bit fast, but again, we just got to go through the folders. Be right back. Find out where they're at. And then there you go. Be right back. So that way you can go ahead and change it to where if you need to get up and go use the bathroom or something like that, or you just want to let people know you're going to be right back. You can go and do that. Boom, there we go, BRB. And then we'll go and do the stream ending since that is the last scene we need to make. So let's go ahead and click on stream ending, hit plus, and then we'll go to the media source, stream ending, oh, browse, screens, animated, stream ending, loop, loop it. Then we'll add the text. So again, we'll come down that a plus button we'll go to image stream ending oh. text All right, stream ending there you go so technically right now we have everything we need set up so we can literally just sit here and if we want to do starting soon we have our starting soon screen we have our gameplay screen we have intermission screen ending and also be right back screen as well now, one more thing I'm gonna show you guys how to do since it is included in the package is the transition. Transitions are kind of cool. They just add a little bit more of like flair to your stream when you're changing from scene to scene. And we're gonna go ahead and do a stinger. So we're gonna hit yes to the stinger. Now, once we have this stinger added, we're gonna wanna go ahead and change the transition point to about 2000 milliseconds. What this means is that there's gonna be a delay between when the actual scene changes and when it's going to the next one. The reason why is because when it's used like this, notice how it says A, we do preview transition, this closes and comes back and now it's B. And that's what we want. We wanna make sure that the transition fully closes and then it goes to B. So now that we have that properly set up where it's at 2000 milliseconds, if we go to change our gameplay screen to our starting soon, it should look like this. Bam, and there we are. And there we go, adding overlays and sourcing them has been that easy. Hopefully you guys thought so too. If you guys thought this was an easy, awesome tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure you guys get subscribed for more how-to content. And until next time, my name is Ivy Paula. I'll see you in the next one.